Now we're going to read a poem called Fog, written by Carl Sandburg. The fog comes on little cat feet. It sits looking over harbor and city on silent haunches and then moves on. In a few short words, the poet eloquently tells us how fog comes stealing in like a cat, a good metaphor. And just as a cat sits silently on its haunches and watches, so does the fog. It quietly watches over the harbor and over the city, sometimes for hours, and then moves away. Carl Sandberg, 1898 to 1967. Winner of three Pulitzer Prizes, two for poetry and one for his biography of Abraham Lincoln. Carl lived in Chicago, Illinois for many years. He had a fascination for cats. The Americans often like to keep cats as domestic pets. Look at the fog over the San Francisco Bridge. Motorists will find it impossible to drive when visibility is near zero. The road, by the way, it's the highway, runs over the horizontal part of this bridge. Can you see the bridge? The horizontal part is where the road is and it's a highway. A typical scene in a suburb of Chicago. Look at the fog. Here the visibility is hardly 10 yards. A better view of the San Francisco Bridge with the fog beginning to lift. The cat is silently slinking away now. Here is another picture of a horrible fog. This kind of weather is what pilots dread. Why is this a nightmare for pilots of ships and aircraft? You see, using a navigational radar, pilots can have a clear picture of the harbor in blinding rain. Rain is not as serious a navigational problem as fog is, but a radar cannot penetrate fog. That's the reason why Fog is a nightmare for pilots. Another view of the Bay Area of San Francisco. Imagine, how can anybody drive in this kind of weather? It's almost zero visibility. A grave hazard for aircraft trying to land in this kind of weather. Fog creates havoc to visibility. Like the cat sits still on its haunches, the fog lays itself thick often for many hours, disrupting traffic. Can anyone navigate in this kind of fog? Look at the thick fog. Okay, this poem has tried to tell us what a grave hazard fog is for navigation, whether at sea or in the air. Now we're going to look at another aspect of poetry and as we move on to the next poem.